Smart Family Browser is a very powerful extension for finding uh, the families that you want to have in your project. Uh, you know that usually if you would like to load some families uh, into your Revit project, you have to go to Insert, uh, Load Family, and then uh, uh, go to your library. And sometimes from the picture it's very difficult to understand if uh, this family is suitable for you. And uh, sometimes it's very difficult to know if this family is face-based or wall-based uh, and so on. And also uh, working with that catalogs is not so very good thing because sometimes you can make a mistake and you can put family not to the right catalog. So that's why we have created a smart browser that allows you to find uh, the families that you need. So first you have to prepare your library and you have to um, say where your library is located. So with the browser options you have to make preparation. And uh, after that you can work with a smart family browser. First, I would like to say that a smart family browser works, works like a standard application, so you don't need to close that dialog every time. So every time you can go to your project, you can work with your design, you can go through different views, and then you can come back to your smart family browser. Uh, now all these families will be listed together uh, in, in one table, and here you will be able to select the family and then uh, to see what types it has and then uh, to see all information about every family. So it's about uh, parameter names and the group of parameters, about parameter values, uh, parameter types and units. Uh, if you will see that some values, uh, like you see here, some values are displayed with a gray color and some of them are displayed with a white color, so then you will know that uh, if values are displayed with a gray color, so it means that uh, here we have type parameter values. And uh, if the values are displayed with a white color, so then it, it means that this is instance parameter values. Now, uh, when you decide that uh, you want to have this family in, in your project, it's very easy to just with drag and drop you can load uh, the family to your current project and then you will be able to uh, put the family in the place you want. So that family will be loaded automatically to your uh, project. Now I can go back to my uh, smart family browser and then let's look at the left side of the tree. So right now uh, in my one XML file, so here I can select uh, my XML files and that XML files uh, they have information, all information about your families from the library. Uh, so that one XML file, it has two directions to different, um, it can have just two directions to different um, uh, library, li to different libraries. So now I can uh, go to this library and then I can go to my, to my previous library. Now, uh, in the left side of the tree, uh, you can see your families under the catalog. So this is the same system like you have uh, in usual Revit. Uh, if you will try to insert uh, the families from the library, all the families are grouped together according to the catalogs. But like I said before, uh, that type of uh, presenting is not so very good thing because you can uh, make a mistake and you can put the family not to the right place. Uh, so that's why uh, we added configuration um, and here you can say that you would like to see the real categories and to look at the real uh, category of, uh, of selected family. So now after pressing OK, now tool will group all those families through, uh, and it will take all those families from the different catalogs, from the different locations, and it will group together according to uh, the real category name. So now you will be only sure that uh, uh, now you are selecting uh, 
columns and here uh, you will see all the data devices and detail items and doors and so on so uh, here you will not you will not make any mistake with them um, uh, with finding uh, the families you need also it's very important to know what is the host of uh, the family so if the family is wall based or ceiling based or face based so that's why uh, we add possibility to see insertion type so after pressing ok now all these families will be grouped together according to where the where the family will be placed when you will put the family to the project so let's say we can expand our all wall-based families so now you will be able to uh, look at the all wall-based families and then uh, we will uh, we will filter those wall-based families according to the categories so here you will see the caseworks that are really wall-based families and like you see uh, from the picture you will never understand that this is a wall-based family uh, and here you will be always sure that uh, that families are really wall-based again with a ceiling based so here like a special equipment uh, family and also from that picture you will never understand that this is a ceiling based family and here you will be always sure that uh, this is ceiling based family and um, also very good feature that we have uh, in this uh, smart family browser is that you can uh, look at 3dwf file and uh, you can rotate the family you can look at the 3d view also you will be able to look at all the views uh, that are created uh, in the current in the current family so uh, here you will uh, get all the views uh, that comes uh, from from selected family so if you uh, see the parameters also you will be able to check where those parameters are located and then if you will uh, say that yes I really need to have this family in my project then with drag and drop you can load the family to your current project and then automatically that family will be selected and uh, you will be able to put the family into the place you want